Conception, how are you today? Let's go through the date. Yesterday was Tuesday, so today is Wednesday. Yesterday was, ten was the 9th, so today is the 10th. Today is Wednesday the 10th of February 2021. Can you point on the calendar to where today is? There it is, Mochi, covered in snow, is showing us where our day is. For our lesson today, you are going to need a learning partner and a camera. Ooh, interesting. We've had a great week so far. On Monday, we were revising our learning on height and we measured ourselves compared to objects around our house. Yesterday, so Tuesday, we were measuring length and we measured and compared our footprint to different objects. Today, we're going to be learning something new. We've never looked at it before. And we are going to be exploring the concept of distance. Can you tell me what that is, distance? Hmm, let's find out. So our key words for today, the first is distance. Say it with me, distance. The second is far. Say it with me, far. And the third is near. Say it with me, near. Now when something is far away, it looks smaller. And when something is near, it looks bigger. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Here's a photo of me and Mrs. Hopkin. Yesterday, we discussed the fact that Mrs. Hopkin and I were about the same height. But for this lesson, I have shrunk Mrs. Hopkin. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Ta-da! She is now so small, she fits into the palm of my hand. Have I really shrunk Mrs. Hopkin? No. What's happened is, even though I look big and Mrs. Hopkin looks small, it's because we're standing in different places. I am near to the camera and Mrs. Hopkin is far away. That's why Mrs. Hopkin looks small and I look big. Now I also shrunk Mrs. Rodigan and Mrs. Lane. So I am now the biggest. Mrs. Hopkin is small. Mrs. Rodigan is smaller. And Mrs. Lane is the smallest. Have a look. But that's not really what happened, is it? I didn't really shrink them. I am standing close to the camera. Mrs. Hopkin is standing further away. Mrs. Rodigan is standing even further. And Mrs. Lane is standing the furthest. That's why Mrs. Lane looks really small and I look really big. Now, what we've learned from that is when objects are near to us, they seem bigger. And when objects are far away, they seem smaller. So now I'm going to show you some really funny pictures that show near and far. And I would like you to tell me who is standing close to the camera and who is far away. Ready? So our first one is a man and a giant cat. No, that cat's not really giant. Who is standing near to the camera? The cat. And who is standing far away? The man. If they were to stand next to each other, the cat would be smaller than the man. Okay, second picture. There's a girl picking up a helicopter. Is that, is that really a girl picking up a helicopter? No, okay, who is standing nearer to the camera? The girl, who's standing far away? The helicopter. If you look in the background, you can see some mountains. And mountains would be far bigger than the helicopter and the girl, but they actually look quite small in that picture because they are the furthest away. Okay, another one. There is a very small boy and a giant girl. Is she really a giant? 
Who is standing far away? It's the boy. So the girl is standing closer to the camera. That's why she looks bigger and the boy looks smaller. Okay, right, this time, this is a funny picture. We have some people running away and we have a giant woman that looks like she's about to stand on them. Who is standing far away? It's the people, the people are very far away. That's why they look small. And the woman is actually standing really close to the camera. That's why she looks big. Okay, this is our last one. Now we have another giant woman who's about to cook some people in a pot. No, that's not right. Who is standing near to the camera? The woman. Who is standing far away? The people. Where is the pot? Is the pot near or far? Well, the pot is near because a pot wouldn't be bigger than a person. You can see the pot compared to the, the lady here is normal size. A pot's a lot smaller than a person. But here, it looks like it's bigger than them. So we know the pot is closer to us. So, this is what your challenge is. You're going to now make your own distance picture. And you can use your teddies, toys, or even yourself. To do this, you will need to choose two objects and compare them. So you are going to decide which one is bigger. Now, if they're both the same size, like Mrs. Hopkin and I were, that's fine. You just need to pick one of those objects and you are going to, step two, place the object far away. So in this picture, Mrs. Hopcat, Mrs. Hopkin stood far away. The third thing you're going to do is take your small object or your second object and you're going to put it near to the camera. So then you have one object near to the camera and one object far away. And you're going to take a photograph or ask someone to take a photo for you. And then you're going to see, does the small object now look bigger because it's closer to the camera? Let me know how you get on and don't forget to post your answers on Discord. I've really been loving seeing your maths learning. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.